So a little while ago in the Notion Made Simple Facebook group, someone asked for some help with a mileage tracker they were building. Um, and I gave the answer to that, but thought it might be good just to do a quick video showing how to build that from scratch so you can see kind of how the formulas and stuff come together. So we'll make a new page. Uh, we'll call it Mileage Tracker. And what we'll do for this, make a database with an inline table. All right, and we'll just call it Table Tracker, whatever you want to call it here. So we'll do a few things with this. Uh, name column, you can do whatever you want. If you want to call it different trips, I'll just kind of leave that empty here. The second column, we'll want to have starting mileage. We'll just want to make this a number. And then we'll have one for ending mileage for whatever the length of the trip was. And again, we'll make this a number. And then we'll do one more column with a formula. So we'll make it a formula. Actually, I should call it um, difference. You know, whatever you want to call it, the difference in mileage or trip distance might be a little more accurate and we'll edit the formula and so if you've not played with formulas before basic stuff is really pretty easy you click what you want here and you can kind of type in things at the top plus minus whatever um, and do it from there so we'd want to take the ending mileage and subtract the starting mileage and that's it and hit done it'll be zero so now we can say okay cool I went to work when I left my starting mileage was at 10,712 and when I got there it was at 10,008 43, 34, whatever. Long, long drive to work. Uh, that's really as simple as it is. You can then add things up here and say, okay, you know, we went to the fair, and so I started at 10, 8, 34 is where it left off, and it took me to 10, 9, 12 to get there, so 78 miles to the fair, and keep all that going. And then if you wanted to at the bottom, you can say, I want to calculate and always show the, the total of all that, so that would be the sum. There's different things you can do down here to you know, count how many values are in there. There's three different you know rows in there so far. Uh, but some I think would make the most sense here. Or you can even do average. So what's my average trip been? Um, this blank line is kind of throwing us off, so we'll delete it. Uh, so your average trip's been 100 miles. Um, if you want to do the sum, it's 200. But uh, that's as easy as formulas can be. They're really not that complicated. Uh, but the cool thing with Notion is they can be complicated. If you want to do something very complex, it has that ability. But just to add up columns and stuff, it's a little weird to find. Hopefully this helps you find that. But once you do, it's really pretty easy to use. So. I hope you find that helpful. If you need a mileage tracker or anything like that, this should get you going.